At the Barn, brought to you by Ontario Racing and OLG. I am an exercise rider here at Woodbine Racetrack, more specifically for John Ross. I've been here four years now. Great crew, good people, and uh, nice horses. I started getting the horses when I was in diapers and uh, my grandfather spent a lot of money on pony rides at a fair basically. I took off from there, I did the rodeo circuit for years and then I show jumped for years and traveled and I got into this through another trainer and he needed a hot walker, I was nine, and I walked a horse at Fort Erie and that was it, I've been hooked ever since. So I've been full time at Woodbine for numerous trainers over the years for about 18 years now. So for my job specifically, when I come in in the morning, it entails setting tack for the day, organizing a set list. Obviously we've got numerous horses in the barn and there's more than one rider. We have a couple freelance riders that help get a few out in the day. So organize that, make sure everything's okie dokie. Our assistant trainer checks legs, does medications in the morning. So then my morning starts around six when the track is open and we go out and John Ross tells us what he would like us to do with that specific horse at that specific time. Whether it's a jog day or a gallop day, it might be a gate day or a work day, it totally depends on the horse. Everything is specific to each individual animal, which is nice to see is that everybody listens to their horses and tries to train their horses according to how they like to train. So my day consists of that. We get on anywhere between six to nine in a morning and we're done between 10 and 10.30. And then at the end of the day, it's just cleaning up, making sure everybody's happy and healthy, enjoying their lunch. I clean tack, make sure everything's safe and ready to go for the next day. And if we have races in the afternoon, we set up all our race equipment. And, and we're fortunate enough to have a really good crew that it's not just one or two people go over with them, our whole barn goes over with the horse. So it's nice to have that support and everybody's cheering for the same team. Having a relationship with these horses is definitely one thing that keeps you coming back to work every day. For example, when I was race riding, I sat on a lot of horses that, you, that I've never seen before, I know nothing about them. Coming to John Ross's every morning, there are horses that pull on my heartstrings for sure. You know, they're little quirks. They're no different than people or dogs or whatever. They have their own personalities. They have their things that they like, their things they don't like. Some of them, you know, they test you a little bit. They're, they're athletes. They're high intense, high energy animals and they want to run. So being able to contain that and have that relationship with that horse that you can do it and they can enjoy it and still have fun and you can enjoy it and still have fun, that's what makes a successful day. The most satisfying part about the job is definitely being in the winner's circle. When you see them start out as babies, whether you purchase them as babies or even if you claimed one, and just, just watching the progression of a horse and seeing them improve constantly and you know you finally get it right, the light bulb goes on, everybody's worked so hard, we're all here grinding it out every day, and then they finally make it across the finish line first and everybody's in that win photo, it's, it, it's, it's a very euphoric feeling. It's, that's why everybody's here. I mean, there's hundreds of people back here and we're all here for that exact reason. So without that, there, there, there's nothing. <laughs> it's the thrill. It is a sport, it is a game. It's political and it's stressful and it's got its serious ups and downs. But at the end of the day, we're all here to get to the finish line first. And if you got a good crew and put it all together, I mean, why not? Why not be here? Seven days a week is hard, but again, you gotta love it. And there's no doubt about it that I love it for sure.